The wetlands is actually about 20 years old now. So when we went through this severe drought that was almost two years long, um, then obviously people have always asked what happened to the to the animals. You know, that's the first thing. They're gonna they're a lot smarter than what we think they are, and so they find other places and they they just adapt to their surroundings. So one of the things that um, that we're looking forward to with this. Uh, raising of the uh, with the water uh, with the pumps finally um, establishing themselves we're waiting for the aquatic wildlife to come back ie ducks waterfowl um, uh, minks beavers oh. river otters things like that we we've always had the deer and unfortunately in our case uh, wild hogs <laughs> in the wetlands and uh, so those are some of the things that we look forward to coming back but they, uh, the only thing that, that really died in, in great populations was the fish that got stuck in the wetlands and had been living in here. But again, it's the circle of life and you just kind of keep on going and the birds and the hawks and, and um, herons and the egrets and the coyotes and the raccoons all had a feast. Basically, this was a huge banquet or a big buffet when we were going when we were going through the drought and things were dying off. The only thing that, that, I, we, I, we, that we're gonna have to wait and see is what aquatic plants come back. And I don't have any doubt that cattails are going to reemerge themselves, uh, even though they ha hadn't had the, uh, the ideal situation in order to grow, they will come back. But we have to also control that because we don't want just a field of cattails and that's it. We want as biodiverse as possible of the of the native aquatic plants and animals that, that would reestablish themselves in here.